But so we have this great connection between the uh, navigation aids, which kind of uh, it is interrelatable, right? So uh, at any point of time, as I've always told you, if you really feel like taking a pause, let me know, uh, and you can definitely go through it in a, in a in a wider aspect before you come back to the question. I'll give you enough and more time where you can where you can have your own space. Do the questions, put them in the chat because I am looking into each and every one of your answers. Uh, click a picture and send me so you can see the way I've kind of done it, but definitely we'll be going uh, through it together, right? So we are starting with NDB and for now we are kind of focusing on the Oxford, uh, Oxford thesis of it, all right? Yes. Let's look at, uh, this, it's right here where uh, the Oxford is kind of a, was a typical book for your theoretical knowledge and it's it's immensely valuable, knowledgeable, expanse of uh, data kind of goes into it. Only thing is we have to have the patience to kind of uh, wear through it. Right, perfect. Without any further delay, let's go to the first set of questions. Right, you go, we are focusing on the problems basically here. Uh, theoretical explanations have been given uh, widely and you, you are kind of familiar with it. I'm more concerned about the problem part of it. Uh, let's look at question number two here. Right, so the question number two is right here. An aircraft is intending to track from NDB A to NDB B on a track of 50 degrees true, heading 60 degrees true. You're given an RBI indication to the NDB A, which is 180 degrees, and that to the NDB B as 330 degrees. In this question, you're asked to find out two different things. Uh, so every option has two parts. One, uh, to find out whether you have drifted port or starboard of the track. And number two, whether you're closer to the NDBA or is it the NDBB, right? Two different parts done in, in two different ways. Uh, so basically, we'll kind of focus on the diagram first, and then we'll go to the general aspects of the question, and then we'll come back to the exact answer. All right, I'll give you maybe like five minutes, take the whole five minutes, and uh, let's see, let's see where you get through, and then we'll do it together. All right, so let's look at the question again. Question number two, the aircraft is actually tracking from NDB A to NDB B on a track of 50 degrees true. Now, the tracks from NDBs uh, are expressed in magnetic, as you've seen in the other questions as well. But if you want to really plot them on a chart, as you know, it has to be in true and you have to apply the variation. So the track from A uh, to NDB B uh, or is given as 50 degrees to let's kind of draw this diagram let's uh, let's make the ndb first so ndb a this is how you would see the ndb on a chart it's just dot a solid circle and you have three different circles around it you know all those things i know that that's fine all right so this is ndb a All right. Now, from NDB A, the aircraft is tracking towards NDB B, and the track is given as 50 degrees true. So let's draw that track here. And we have NDB B over here. And the track from NDB A to NDB B is given as 50 degrees true. All right, so as far as the aircraft is concerned, uh, the aircraft is tracking out of an NDB A on a track of 50 degrees true. So it's basically the true track uh, from the station. And the Q code for that is QTE. Though not really significant for this particular question, let's kind of put as many informations as possible into it so that at the end of the question, you would have gained uh, more than what, what the question kind of says. So this is QTE and remember QTE is the true track from the station which is heavily useful uh, for position fixing uh, using a chart. Alright and let's draw the aircraft now and to, to draw the aircraft we kind of need the heading of the aircraft otherwise you won't be able to place the aircraft on your chart and for that you have given the heading as 60 degrees uh, true. So the heading of the aircraft is 60 degrees true right so let's draw the aircraft here so this track is of 50 degrees therefore 60 degrees the aircraft should be kind of aligned 
in this direction. Now, do not compare this to the actual uh, true direction references because we're not keeping the actual angles here. But as far as you know, that 60 degrees is going to be right of 50 degree. That's fine. So the heading of the aircraft is 60 degrees. And this is a very, very useful information as far as this question is concerned. Let's see why a bit later. But yes, the aircraft on a heading of 60 degrees tracking out of NDBA on track of 50 degrees uh, true. The heading is also a true heading, obviously. Now the aircraft is tracking outbound. This is how the aircraft is supposed to track, right? Now, what the pilot sees is that the RBI at some point of time during the course from NDBA to NDBB, it reads a relative bearing of A to be 180 degrees. Now the RBI is reading 180 degrees to A. Now what is RBI? It's relative bearing indicator, one of the ADF indications that we have uh, other than RMI, right? So RBI basically shows you the relative bearing, which means the angle measured clockwise from the nose of the aircraft. And that shows where your NDB is in relation to the nose of the aircraft, hence called as uh, relative bearing, right? So relative bearing of uh, A is 180 degrees. Now, let's see what does that mean. Now, the relative bearing of 180 degrees, the relative bearing of 180 degrees to A. Now, if you know a bit of theory, you would also know that having a relative bearing of 180 degree means you're tracking, number one, outbound, and number two, your drift is zero. So two different inf informations that you get immediately from this is, number one, is you're tracking away, which is quite an important information. Number two is that your drift, or more appropriately, your drift correction is zero degree, which means uh, the, you don't have to really correct for the drift, your track is equal to your heading, and therefore it's kind of a no wind effect uh, scenario, right? But if you look at this diagram here, you are actually planning to move out on a heading of 60 on a track of 50. But what you realize is that, uh, so as of this particular scenario, you can see there is a drift right here, measured from the heading towards the track and the drift is of 10 degrees so i hope all these basic dead reckoning ideas are clear to you and since your track is to the port or left of your heading it's more like 10 degrees 10 degrees port but what this particular rbi is telling you that being 180 there is no drift right so this happens only when your aircraft is exactly flying a heading which is equal to your track. So what is the heading of the aircraft? The heading is the one that's pilot controlled. Therefore, the heading is 60 degree. You are flying a track that is equal to your heading. See, so that, that is what, what is meant by drift being zero. So I'm kind of trying to put the basic information here. Uh, if you think you know it, that's well and fine. But if you, if you don't, please uh, be attentive because uh, people do really, really get confused with these kind of questions. That's basically because that's a game between track, heading, and drift. Right, so drift being zero means your heading is equal to your actual track. You're talking about the actual drift here, right? And for that reason, what is your heading here? So heading is equal to your actual track, and heading in the question is just given as 60 degrees true. We are going to make sure that the heading indicator is reading 60 degree, which means you're going to fly a heading of 60. So what manipulates here is the track. All right, so flying a heading of 60 degree, a track of 60 degree would be exactly parallel to this particular heading. So let's draw a track of 60 degree. And you can see how I'm drawing it very much parallel to the heading of the aircraft, which is 60 degrees. All right, so this is a track of 60 degrees. So even though you planned to fly a track of 50 degrees outbound, uh, you flew a track of 60 degrees because you were pushed to the right in such a way that your heading is equal to your track. This is your track and that is also equal to your heading and hence your drift is zero. Let's now position the aircraft which we initially positioned here, right here. Let me take that in and let me put that straight here. So you see what happened? Oops. So now you can see how the heading of the aircraft is in line with the track and therefore the RBI is going to read uh, 180, right? Perfect. Now, you can have a look at the entire diagram together. Right. Now you can see the relative bearing to NDBA is going to be 180 degree because your heading is equal to track and you're moving outbound. At the same time, you can also see that the relative bearing uh, to the NDBB is 330 degrees. Alright, so let's see that now. The relative bearing towards NDBB is 330 degrees to NDB 
B. Now relative bearing of 300 degrees, it means that now the NDBB is uh, 330 degrees measured clockwise from the nose of the aircraft. All right. So the NDBB is right here. Let me kind of draw a circle around this particular aircraft. Now this is one of the ways by which I kind of teach my students where I would probably ask them to imagine a circle around the aircraft uh, because that is how the pilot will be seeing it. He'll be having an RBI dial and the aircraft at the center. Right, we're dealing with RBI here and for that reason we know that the head of the RBI which is right here in line with the heading is going to be zero. Again, I believe you have the basic ideas, right? In case of NDBA, the ADF is going to point towards A. The ADF nearest simply tells you where the NDBA is. It absolutely doesn't care about your heading, right? So this is an ADF with two different, or RBI with two different needles. One you can tune to ADF um, NDBA and the other to NDBB. So the ADF A, well, the need, one of the needles which is pointing towards the NDB A and the other needle will be pointing towards NDB B. Let's draw the track towards NDB B first. So that's from the aircraft which is right here all the way to the NDB which is here. And now that particular needle will be pointing towards NDB B. Absolutely doesn't care about uh, care about the, the heading of the aircraft. And this relative bearing indication is given as 330 degrees. I'm not wrong, is it 330? Yes, 330 degrees towards NDB. B, and this is 180 degrees. That is what is given in the question. All right, now this is what the pilot observes. After traveling a particular distance, he observes that his RBI is 180 towards NDBA and 330 towards NDB, NDBB. Now the question is, uh, is the aircraft port or starboard of the track? Now look at the diagram here. What do you think? Obviously the aircraft is towards the yeah, starboard of the track, right? It's quite great that you're dropping the question, the answer straight away, but I hope uh, you're listening to what I'm saying and you're kind of understanding the pickup here, right? Uh, this is a very commonly asked question for your ATPLs. I have not seen it much for CPLs, but I, I do I do take a, a bit of time to kind of explain this because this involves uh, two different NDBs and a lot more lines than a normal question, right? So you can see from the diagram, it's pretty clear that the aircraft kind of um, kind of drifted off to the right and therefore it is to the starboard of the track. So let's keep the options right there. But before that, uh, when you track 330 degrees to an NDB, the relative bearing of 330 degrees, the information that you get here, you get two different informations. So number one is that you are tracking towards Why it's tracking towards? Because you are seeing a number around 360 degrees. And number two, what about the drift? Right, I want to pop in uh, the drift that the aircraft is experiencing when the RBI is 330 degrees. It's definitely traveling towards the station. That's it, it's 30 degrees and since it is less than 360, it's going to be a port drift, which means a drift correction is 30 degrees port, which is what we seemingly call as a drift of 30 degrees port. You can see here, the heading is kind of to the right of the track and therefore it is 30 degrees, uh, 30 degrees port. On this note, uh, let's see what the question is asking after that. So the first part is definitely the aircraft being starboard of the track. So the aircraft is starboard of the track. But the question doesn't stop there. It's asking you to find out whether the aircraft is closer to A or to NDB B. Now, how will you find that? 